Log Talk Radio. First World Order Radio, finally, finally, we are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. Get on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics and the root based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetics of sound through the air that your thoughts transmits it. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. Regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetics of sound through the air that your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, getting your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know how intention straight out. Right, so I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages for us to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories, shit that works. You have an activated pipe in which that produced this black chemical called melanin. We, what we did was gave a hard line in the sand between the different definitions of esoteric study and esoteric study. Playtime is over. But what about the underwater cities and spaceships? My mystical mind, we had a government 
covering But it's the whole match of a fly away like a mothership Where African people wear the real and it knock it Wearing feathers on their heads just to prove feet taller than me Put through the transition and that's all she wrote Put on my hockey game, my cheese and peace back to the post Came back, hey, back my angel time to bring heaven on earth I was the last daughter child that returned since birth We going through the transition and that's all she wrote Put on my hockey game, my cheese and peace back to the post Yo, don't look at me the same, I ain't nothing like I used to be Upgraded, dealing through the lies and all the foolery My dream became lucid, I travel back in time Collecting life data for my subconscious mind That father let me know that anything is possible By pulling down the universe through my crown chakra Manipulate the energy, it's all an illusion Knowing who you are kills all the confusion Why 85% judge off my appearance? I use alchemy to create the world potential My lyrics turn divas right back in the queens Why those Boys the same twice appearing back on the scene Everybody gone mad, blame the media outlet The new black Hollywood chosen straight out of the project Bobo and gender war sucking up to the master While the whole community going up in disaster We going through the transition and that's all she wrote Put on my hockey game, my cheese and peace back to the post Came back, my angel time to bring heaven on earth I was the last golden child that returned to the earth We going through the transition and that's all she wrote Put on my hockey game, my cheese and peace back to the post It on the reckless spaceship hovering throughout the whole region. Open up the sky and take the shortcut to Venus. Getting on my liver, it's a hard pill to swallow. Like comparing your religion to it if the earth is hollow. No need to cry then, let it soak in your tomorrows. Let my music soak up all your bittersweet and sorrows. See the sun shining, I lay back and kick it. Staying sucker free is my new way of living. One day we get together, then we all start billing. But the ball that I dribble got me posting like Pippin. Champagne glasses around my organite pyramid. Glazing at the stars, show the kids where we really live These solar flares got my DNA 12 stranded Collect the kids, trans and feed it to the man spring To wash the tall moors, some of us we've been here To reunite the others and cool the world with wind chills I put rap to the back for a good reason 2012-21 was a good season Fake people get exposed just for who they are Keep playing traffic in a highway with moving cars My flow brain the fear of God to the modern rappers They crawling backwards, kicking them in their chest and hard attack them Ever since the kid went galactic My center bracket reached the top and interacted with my solar status The microphone will grab it, I guess it's just a habit I live a legend in your presence, sort of like the Mavericks It ain't about me, nah, but it's about the future A golden race is on and dealing with the cockadoodles I sock it to you like a grandma and your mama used to The final stage, I ride away just like it's Honolulu I proved my old school, but since I stayed there Galactic conscious awareness, I got my brain there See with the eye of Hebrew, no longer bend the knees My inner chiefs are in a me when it's time to leave This modern day crap, I don't even follow it I'd rather symbolize my neighbor in the hieroglyphs Declare peace without battle star Galactica Foot stepping back with some way back to Africa To wash the tall moors, some of us we've been here To reunite the others, to cool the world with wind chills I put rap to the back for a good reason 2012-21 was a good season Fake people get exposed just for who they are Keep playing traffic in a highway with moving cars My flow bring the fear of God to the modern Rappers, they crawling backwards, kicking them in their chest, my heart attack and wash the tall moors. Some of us, we've been here to reunite the others to cool the world with wind chills. I put rap to the back for a good reason. 2012, 21 was a good season. Fake people get exposed just for who they are. Keep playing traffic in a highway with moving cars. My flow bring the fear of God to the modern rappers. They crawling backwards, kicking them in their chest, my heart attack them.
Breeze back once again with your host, Dr. Eileen Bay. First of all, the radio, we back once again in the house. Tonight's subject matter, we're going to get into the discussion of shamanistic healing as well as also your animal spirit. All right. Um, let me bring on my co host, Brother Fahim. You here, brother? Hey, uh-huh. I tell you, watch it east. Yeah, I tell you, watch it east. How you doing tonight? Doing well, God. Well, how you doing? All right, all right. I'm doing good. Um, do I sound clear enough? I sound loud enough? Oh, yeah, loud and, loud and clear, brother. All right. Well, we're going to try to keep doing it like this here for tonight. Hopefully, we won't have too many technical difficulties. If we right. do, hang in here with us as we get it back on track. All right. We're going to get into communication between yourself and the ancestors is within. Be aware of your thoughts. Pay attention to your dreams and observe the animals that appear in your life. Look at the signs, the symbolism, and the synchronicities that occur day to day. This is where the messages are found. Understand that this is the ancestral voice of esoteric African knowledge. And the key was be aware of your thoughts. And observe the animals that appear in your life. This is what we're going to be going over tonight. Particularly, observe the animals that appear in your life. All right? Um, we want to talk about particularly these animals and what they can do. What they hmm. symbolize to you. All right? So, when we get into shamanistic animal spirit guide. We understand that um, myself, being a shaman healer, um, matter of fact, I put out the tape shamanistic healing back in 2004. So it's been almost 12 years now. Um, and a lot of people, thousands and thousands upon thousands of people have actually seen that um, particular video or DVD or VHS tape from back in the day. But in the shamanistic belief, um, everything is alive. All right, that's just like in quantum physics. Um, in quantum physics, everything moves. That is totally different than when you study physics, where it states that there's a state of inertia, which means there's a state period of rest. No, everything still moves. Everything is alive and carries with it power and wisdom. So power animals are an essential component of shamanistic practice. All right, they are that they are the um, helping spirits which aids to power, you know, um, the shaman, you know, essential for success in any venture undertaken by the shaman, all right, all right, all right, so this is what shaman need, all right, they need to understand their totem, um, this is what, when you look at the Native American um, about their totems, the totems symbolize the animals in which that guide the particular tribe, all right, and the powers that they had. So shamans believe that everyone had a power animal or animal spirit, which resides within each individual adding to their power and protected them um, from illnesses, diseases, ailments, um, a second attacks, all right, um, acting similar to like a guardian um, angel or spirit in this sense, all right, so each animal power that you have increases your power so that illnesses or negative energy cannot enter your body, all right, this is what the shamans um, believe or what became, they became relegated down to which doctors or whatever that, you know, <clears throat> term that they want to refer to them as. But um, seemingly everybody has a power animal. Um, everyone is um, thought to have a few of these guardian power animals from childhood on. So over the course of his or her life, the person may have several. If a power animal leaves and one does not come to take his place, the individual is considered by the shaman to be disempowered. And therefore, yeah, yeah. you go to illnesses, diseases, and bad luck, all right? Um, so the power animal uh, retrieval 
is a healing where the shaman goes to find a new power animal for you. All right? So it's important to honor your um, power animal. In shamanistic work, the power animal is essential for a shaman who has no power and is going to have, um, um, for a shaman who has no power, is not going to have very good results. All right, so on a personal level, um, by honoring your power animal, you let it know that its assistance is appreciated. All right, um, like for example, you would see for the Mayans, well, for the Omex, the Mayans, the Incas, the Toltecs, they had Veracasha, they had Quazacoto, they have Kukukon or Kukukan. All right. These are three of the same deities, but different pronunciations or different um, forms, but they were still called the feather um, deity or nature, all right, as we would say within um, the ancient Kemetic, you know, text. That was similar to, like, what we was called Shu or Mayat, being that they had the feathers, all right? The feathers symbolize um, justice or balance or reciprocity. You know, it's the same thing as it was within the Omex. Um, and being that the Omex is the mothers of civilization here in the Americas, moderate civilization, that is, because we have um, had civilizations dating back millions and millions, even billions of years ago. But we'll stick with the moderate um, day in which that the Omex are the oldest as far as civilization-wise here within the Americas. Uh, we know that the Omex are direct descendants of the Mandingos or the Mandika people who was related to the Dogon. And the Dogon were the astrologers coming from our, um, ancient Egypt or Tamaria, all right, um, back o- almost nearly 8,000 years ago. All right, so this is how the Omex gained the information or science part of the ancient mystery school. Um, from the Dogons on how to build temples as well as also pyramids, all right? Um, their descendants built the mounds, who was known as the Washita or Ushita, all right? So we understand as the indigenous people um, the correlation because these um, symbols become part of the culture. Like, for example, they had a jaguar. The jaguar was called Belam or Ish. All right? Um, That was one of the power totems for particularly the Omex. You can see statuettes with the jaguar. All right? In mixture with the human. All right? Not that it was um, a physical or actual mixture as in terms of someone's sex and um, a human sex in the jaguar. No, we're talking about the power, the power in which that comes upon the individual. This is what is called shape shifting. All right? Before the theory of um, David Icke and the reptilian shape shifters, the indigenous people was already able to take on various characteristics of animals. And it wasn't just a damn reptilian. All right? They was able to take on birds, on various birds, um, just like you see here, Rue taking on the um, the hawk or the falcon. All right, symbolic to the fact that a hawk or a falcon, um, in particular, a hawk can see uh, more than a mile away its prey. All right, um, these are just the things that you have to look at. So, um, if you would like to find out who your power animal is, consulting a shamanistic practitioner. Is an option. All right? We do that. All right? All right. Um, but to discover this on your own, you can ask for a dream and see if anything comes up. You can ask the power animal to show itself to you. And if you start seeing one or another animal frequently, this will be the way of revealing itself to you. All right? Once again, pay attention to what I'm saying. You can consult a shamanistic practitioner such as myself or you can discover 
this on your own simply before you go to sleep, the last thought in your mind before you go to sleep so that it can resonate in your subconscious is that you want to find out your power animal, your total. And if you see the animal in your dream, be lucent and understand what this animal is trying to convey to you. When you wake up in the morning, write it down and write everything down that you've seen. Now, you can also ask the power animal to show itself to you um, physically. And so if you start seeing um, this animal, you know, over and over and over again, you know what I'm saying, then this is your power animal. This is what's being revealed to you. Hmm. All right? Now, we're here in the country, so um, we see several power animals over again. Like, for example, turkeys. Um, um, white cranes we've seen um, hawks or falcons we've seen over and over again every time that we do some type of um, spiritual um, cleansing or healing when we do the sweat lodge these hawks circle our area. All right? So we understand that the hawk plays a factor in our understanding of the totems. All right? So we're going to get into animal spirit guides. Um, For example, like if you see um, a wolf, all right, the wisdom in which that the wolf is conveying is that um, it's facing the end of one cycle with dignity and courage. It also symbolizes death and rebirth, spiritual teaching, as well as also guidance and dreams and meditation. All right, instinct links with intelligence, as well as also so- social and uh, family values. All right, it also shows outwitting an enemy, the ability to pass unseen. So stealth mode, all right, as we would say. Um, Skilled in protecting or protection of yourself as well as also the family, and then also taking advantage of change. So when you see a wolf, that is symbolic to these particular uh, facets of wisdoms or um, gems in which that is being conveyed when you see a wolf. All right, so let's say that you see um, a coyote, like for example, here, we'll be at in North Carolina, this, this um, coyote, all right? Um, so we hear them in the woods howling, but the, the coyotes understanding that all things are sacred, yet nothing is sacred. All right. I'm teaching that only when all masks have fallen, we will contact or connect with the source. It seems it, it symbolizes, um, intelligence. I'm sinking humans into being is one of the ancient, um, Cherokee tales here. In North Carolina, um, childhood um, trust and truth, teaching us how to rear our young, brings rain. It also, if you see a coyote, more than likely rain will follow. All right, um, the ability to laugh at one's own mistakes, uh, placing the North Star if someone is lost, or they, even in the um, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, they'll tell you that if you lost, always follow the North Star which is Polaris, all right, which is like the second, uh, well, actually the third brightest object in the sky behind Venus and Sirius, Sirius A, all right? Coyotes also symbolize the shape-shifting, um, teaching balance between risk and safety, illumination, as well as also just like the um, wolf, um, stealth mode, you know what I'm saying? Being, be, being able to be unseen, all right? Um, if you see a rabbit, um, Rabbit um, symbolizes fertility, also paradox and contradiction, um, living by one's own weight, receiving hidden teachings and intuitive messages, um, quick thinking, humidity, uh, moving through fear, strengthening intuition. You know what I'm saying? So when you see these animals, keep in mind what they mean, all right? All right, let's go to some more animals here. 
before we get um, you know, check them out, see what's going on with them. All right. Oftentimes you can hear an owl. You know what I'm saying? If you see an owl, an owl symbolizes um, secrecy, um, silence, and um, swift movement. Um, seen behind mass. Um, the fact that the um, owl can turn his head around 360 degrees, meaning all I seeing or all seeing I. Um, keen insight. Um, messenger of secrets and omens. Um, shape shifting once again. Um, link between the dark, the unseen world, and the world of light. Comfort with shadow self. Moon magic. Freedom. All right, that's what the owl symbolizes. So, you see it, you know what's being conveyed to you. Hmm. Right? You see um, a heron, you know, um, similar to a white, similar to the crane family, you know what I'm saying? Um, basically symbolizes dignity, balancing mul- multiple tasks, self um, esteem, self love, self worth. Um, exploration, boundaries, self-reliance, all aspects of diversity, all right? That's what it symbolizes. Um, Hummingbirds, um, ability to heal by using light as a laser, Um, speaking positive words, manifesting into existence, endurance over long journeys, the ability to fly into small place, places to heal um, symbolizes love, joy, and basically happiness um, if you see um, a hummingbird. All right? Now, me not talking about just going to the zoo. You're talking about animals that you see or possibly can see on a daily basis. I'm going to, really going to deal with these type of animals, you know what I'm saying, that you might see in nature here in what we refer to as North America, all right? Um, lizards, um, detachment from ego, power to rejuvenate that which is lost, uh, facing fear, controlling dreams. So um, if you see a lizard, more than likely that night, you can have lucid dreams. Um, you would be able to move in and out of the other world or uh, what they refer to as um, the astral plane, um, as well as also frogs, all right? Let's look at the frogs. If you see frogs, um, the remainder of common bonds before life, transformation, cleansing, understanding emotions, rebirth, all right? That's what, it, that's what the frog symbolizes. Right, well, I'm, I'm going to get to more common things, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get as much in as I can. I'm going right. to get to the cats and the dogs, but, you know, I, I want to get a little bit of more animals out there that people might see, especially if they just um, in the suburbs or if they're in the country area, you know what I'm saying? In the cities, you know, we don't get to like the squirrels and the, you know, and the different other birds that you might see, um, but Let's say, for example, um, moles. Uh, moles um, symbolize the guardians of the lower regions, connection with the energy of the earth, knowledge of herbs, roots, minerals, seeds, rivers, and other hidden um, bounties of the earth. The ability to turn inward, introspection, blindness to all but light and dark in the material world, um, love expressed in nature, sensitivity to touch and vibration, Understanding of energies and fluxes. In other words, understanding the way that energies um, change and fluctuate, the frequencies, the vibrations, all right? Um, when you see, like, for example, a deer, a deer, um, you know that oftentimes in the, in the suburbs or in, the, in particular in the country, um, deers jump out. You know what I'm saying? Deer is symbolizing jumpsness of words or thoughts of Ability to listen, grace and appreciation for um, beauty of balance, understanding of what necessarily what is what it takes for for survival. You know the necessary things for survival. Power of gratitude and giving, the ability to sacrifice for the higher good. Connection to um, 
nature, as in mother nature, alternative path to a goal, all right? Um, if you see ducks or goose, um, in particular, um, goose, a movement along one soul path, understanding the power of community, assisting others through illness, happiness, all right? Um, the ducks in particular, um, grace on water, water energy, if you understand that, seeing clearly through emotion and the spirit helper of mystic and seer, all right? Butterflies, um, caterpillars, all right? It, it symbolizes or has the wisdom to include um, the power of the whirlwind, reincarnation, transformation, transmutation, magic, all right? Um, like you see a praying, pray, um, praying mantis, all right? Mantis. Uh, we had... Um, we we had I don't know if everybody go and watch the videos on our um, YouTube page and we and we we it's called the Night of the Praying Mantis in which that we show you all these praying mantises um, coming to us all right so praying mantis means the ability to manipulate time power to move between movements understanding the circular nature of time power of stillness female warrior energy and attack strategy. All right. Um, an alligator, a crocodile, you know, you know, once again, if you live in these areas, like, for example, uh, no more than a mile up the street from us, there was an alligator that was um, in the pond um, for damn near, you know, like six months before they finally got the alligator out, you know, but the alligator crocodile symbolizes maternal protection. Connection to the earth, um, the mother um, earth, mother nature, protection from manipulation, understanding deceit, revenge through patience, initiation, understanding weather, and access to ancient knowledge. All right, so. All right, you see a fox. We've seen foxes in this area. Um, shape shifting, cleverness, um, observational skills, cunning, stealth mode, camouflage, female courage, invisibility, ability to observe the unseen, persistence, gentleness, and swiftness. Right, you see a swan. I'm awakening the power of self, understanding dream symbols, seeing into the future, understanding spiritual evolution. Developing intuitive abilities, divination, grace in dealing with others. All right. Um, you see a bat, um, shamanistic death and rebirth, pollination of new ideas, transition into um, initiation, viewing past lives, understanding grief, the use of vibratory uh, um, sound, camouflage, invisibility. And once again, the ability to observe the unseen. All right, understand, you know, that, you know, these, these you know, um, animals, you know, have these powers in which that we're talking about as far as indigenous people are concerned. And we're talking about indigenous people, all right, the so-called black man and black woman or the oldest people on the face of the planet. Hence, we are the most indigenous. So if, it, if there's anyone that needs to listen to nature, you know, it has to be us. Right. All right. So you have to pay attention to nature and what is around you, what you see um, in this world as well as the next world to understand what is being conveyed and communicated to you. All right. So if you see d dolphins or on porpoises, um, knowledge of the sea, uh, patriot of sellers, change, wisdom, balance, harmony, communicational skills, freedom, trust, understanding the power of rhythm in your life, use of breath to release intense emotions, water element magic. All right. When um, my wife and I went down to Mexico, we could see off in the distance dolphins jumping out the water. Hmm. All right. 
so this is what was being conveyed to us when we went down to Cancun, all right? Um, then you have um, porcupines, um, you know, symbolizes innocence, trust in spirit, renewal of sense of wonder, creating your own path, protection of boundary, defense when threatened, um, allowing others their path, non-interference, all right? You see an eagle, um, swiftness, speed, courage, wisdom, keen sight, illumination of spirit, healing, creation, knowledge of magic, ability to see hidden spirit truths, spiritual truths, um, raised above the material to see the spiritual, ability to see the overall pattern, connection to spirit guides and teachers, great power and balance, um, dignity um, and grace, ability to see the big picture, connection with higher truths, um, intuitive and creative spirit, respect for the boundaries of the region, Grace achieved through knowledge and hard work. All right. I mean, you see horses or ponies um, symbolizes power, stamina, endurance, faithfulness, freedom to uh, run free, control of the environment, um, awareness of power achieved with true um, cooperation, introspective. Um, communication, expanding one's potential um, abilities, friendship and cooperation, travel, in particular astral travel, guardians of travelers, warning of possible danger, guides to overcoming obstacles. All right. Um, squirrel, squirrel means the ability to solve problems or puzzles, resourcefulness, quick change of direction, storage for the future, balancing, giving, and receiving, power of rest during times of non-movement, warning, all right, so if a um, squirrel runs across the car, symbolizes a warning, um, discovery, change, avoiding danger by climbing to a higher place, all right. And Brother L, when you're talking about the dog, um, that will correlate with the wolf being that all dog species are derived from the wolf. I wanted to tell you that, too. Right. Okay. All right. All right. So, like, for example, the hawk, um, the hawk, clear sightness, um, being observant, far memory, messages from the spirits, guardianship, recalling past lives, um, courage, wisdom, illumination, seeing the larger picture, creativity, truth, experience, wisdom, use of opportunities, overcoming problems. Now, understand, uh, when the Empress passed last year on my birthday, April the 19th, um, soon as we came out the door, a hawk circled our heads. Hmm. Right? Then as I came back inside and was coming back out, a, a white crane flew past us flew over our heads. Then as we was getting ready to travel out and go out, um, we seen three turkeys and and one flew over the um, across the car. All right, so that was a lot, you know, for <laughs> you know, for us to take in. Yeah. You know, as far as, you know, what is being revealed. All right, but here pitch being conveyed messages from the spirit. All right, so the message from the spirit um, was coming through as the hawk, in which that was coming from the empress. You know, in order to relate to us of the passing of the crossing, we didn't find out until like eleven o'clock that night that she passed. But she passed around my born time, which was around five o'clock. You know that morning you know so that is something you know too you have to pay attention and see how all these things correlate all right so like the um the buzzard or what is called the vulture or condor we have hold on all right so we have um, 
um, the vulture, the, the buzzard, or the condor, in which that symbolizes death and rebirth, as well as prophecy, um, love of the mother goddess principle, um, knowledge concerning death of a loved one, um, new vision, and um, purification. All right. Now, once again, we talk about animals that we can see on a normal basis, right? Like, for example, um, spiders. Spiders are um, the master weaver, the weaver of the web of fate, all right? Even within the African culture, they have a Nazi, all right? Um, a Nazi symbolizes this spirit of having everything together, bringing everything together. It's the glue. Um, the web symbolizes the glue in which that ties everything together. Matter of fact, this is where quantum physicists gain the idea, such as um, um, Michio Okaku, and he's a scientist who believes in string theory. Well, this is symbolic to the strings in which that holds the various um, universe together. It would be the web of Anansi. All right, so it symbolizes wisdom, creativity, divine um, inspiration, shape shifting once again, understanding the patterns of, illu of illusion, and female energy for the creative force of life. Hey. All right, um, raccoon, uh, raccoon, understanding the nature of mass, disguise, dexterity, um, seeking guidance and confidence. Questioning without fear, balancing curiosity. All right, so that's what it is when you deal with the raccoon and see raccoon possums. Um, proper use of deception, because you know that possum can play dead. Use of appearances, sensibility, guidance to uncovering talent, psychic or um, physical abilities, um, gaining wisdom, and also symbolizes recovery. All right. All right. So, um, also, um, snakes, serpents, um, symbolizes messages of the, of um, of the cosmos, um, manipulating light, lighting, uh, transmutation, exploration of the mysteries of life, um, primitive or elemental energies, protection from religious prosecution. Goddess energy, psychic energy, creative power, immortality, mm. because the snake is known to be able to shed his skin, uh, which symbolizes the body, um, the soul shedding the body to continue on to be immortal as the soul is immortal, eternal, everlasting, forever, just as this has the same attributes as we would say God, because your soul is your Lord and personal Savior. It is your God. Um, that is what took on this physical flesh so that God may know itself through its physical creation. Um, hence, um, the soul is the God. Um, do you not know that your body is the temple of God? You know, that's Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 3.16. So it also symbolizes connection to or form to magic. Um, it's a cord by which the shaman travels to the soul world. All right, you see goats, um, abundance, independence. Uh, removing the guilty feelings, understanding nature, energy, and being, seeking new heights and agility. All right. Uh, we have dragonflies. Dragonflies is all over um, here. Uh, mastery of life on the wings, power of flight, ability to escape a blow, understanding dreams, power of light, breaking down illusions, seeking the truth in situations, swiftness, change, and connection to dragon. All right. Um, some might even have a situation with a skunk. Well, skunk um, symbolizes understanding how to walk your talk, um, sensuality, understanding energy flow, self-respect, courage, uh, willpower, self-confidence, as well as uh, reputation. All right, so of course, if the skunk sprays some of that funky stuff on you. Uh, uh, more than likely, you was acting funky. All right. <laughs> All right. So we don't go to. 
some funky stuff going on. Right, there's some funky stuff going on, exactly. Something funky, you know what I'm saying, done hit the monkey. All right, um, all right so um, we're going to get to the turtle, right? The tortoise, or the tortoise and the turtle. Um, the tortoise um, or the turtle symbolizes um, is a symbol of the earth, connection with the center, in particular the center of the earth, navigational skills, because the turtle can be in water and out of water. Um, so um, that's a powerful statement within itself. Uh, Self boundaries, patient, association with the feminine, power to heal female diseases, respecting the boundary of others, developing new ideas, psychically protecting oneself, self reliance, um, um, nonviolent defense. Uh, tenacity, um, as well as also, we're gonna look at the the weasel. You know what I'm saying? Um, the weasel has um, is cunning, uh, revenge, keen observation, ability to see hidden reasons behind things, power of observation, um, stealth. You know that's what it is with the weasel. Of course, we understand that uh, we have the beaver. Uh, maintaining the ability to be productive in all ways by not limiting your options, being persistent, using available uh, resources, using um, alternative ways of doing tasks, master builder of all things, not damning the flow of experiences in life, achieving through completion of getting the dynamics of group work. All right? I think we need to be seeing the beaver a, a whole lot more, especially that last line there. Right. All right. So, for our people, for we can get this thing together. All right. Um, the woodpecker um, connection to the earth, ability to find hidden layers, understand the rhythm, cycles and patterns, warnings, prophecy, association with thunder, the earth drum, a drummer, pecks away at deception until the truth is revealed. Right, that's what the woodpecker symbolizes. All right. Um, of course, the turkey, um, sacrifice of self for a higher purpose, understanding the gift of giveaway, honoring the earth mother, and harvest bounty. All right. Now you don't have to go back and listen to this one over again and be able to get this information. All right. Make sure you understand that. You yeah, go ahead, right. brother. Al. Yeah. What What do you say about rabbits? What do you see rabbits often? Right. Well, what we were saying that um, rabbit symbolizes quick um, understanding, um, being able to um, be able to position yourself um, in a good way so that you can avoid um, problems because you could be swift on your feet, swift in your thinking. You know, so that's what the rabbit symbolizes. Also symbolizes fertility, as well as also being able to um, achieve a goal quickly. All right. Um, and you see seagulls. Um, we want to uh, deal with that. Seagulls. You have spiritual messengers, communication with deities, behaving responsibly, ability to see from above situations, friendships. All right, so that's the wisdom in which that is being conveyed. All right, you see the bees, connection to um, the goddess or mother principle, understanding the female warrior energy, reincarnation, communication with the dead, um, helping earthbound spirits to move on to their proper place, concentration, and prosperity. All right. When you see a B, a B symbolizes success. All right. Um, a cardinal, which is a red bird, courtship, fatherhood, understanding the power of the wind, finding your soul's song. All right. As we know, everybody, there are signs and symbols and everything. So it's important to know what each sign and symbol is telling you because it can protect you from a situation 
for it could let you know that something wonderful is going to happen. You know? Exactly. So like the Black Panther um, symbolizes astral travel, guardian energy, symbolism of the female or feminine energy, understanding of death, reclaiming one's power, the ability to know the dark and death and rebirth. Reclaiming one's power. That's the deep that our ancestors were Black Panthers. Exactly. Mm. That's why I wanted to say mm. that. Um, a blue jay, understanding how to use your power wisely, warning, because a blue jay is a warning bird. Mm-hmm. Um, when a person go to jail, they call it a jailbird, uh, which is oftentimes associated with a blue jay because of that warning. Um, courage, the ability to check on future trouble spots. All right. The hedgehog, wisdom of female elders, fertility, defense against negativity, enjoyment of life, understanding weather patterns. It's that's deep because the hedgehog is used to see if it's going to be hotter. It's going to be hotter. Right. The falcon, always the falcon. It deals with assisting in soul healing, accepting the soul back to the soul world, teaching swiftness. Learning the aerobatics of life, controlling speed and controlling movement, and understanding magic. How? Then you also have um, a golden bird, the golden finch, which deals with the understanding of value and understanding of change, the ability to resolve family conflicts in a very healthy manner, creating balance and dealing with different people, understanding the power of the voice. A dove. A dove, everybody knows, is utilized um, in weddings or different things like that. It brings peace and love, understanding of gentleness, spirit, messenger, communication between two worlds. Um, to go to a zoo and you see a flamingo or, or or whatnot, that vibration means the ability to filter soul's lessons from emotional waters, understanding the language of colors, ability to maintain soul purpose in group living, deep, and understanding how to maintain balance. I'm always building on balance. I love balance. Oh, yeah. You notice how when we get to the birds, that's what oftentimes the bird symbolizes is a form of balance, all right? Now you have the cow. That cow deals with love, contentment, being alert to danger. The cow is the connection to the great mother goddess, the connection to grass, sharing through community, and the bull is the ability to stand your ground. Now, a mouse, some people have issues with that. Um, though about the vibration of a mouse is examining life's lessons, shyness, quietness, understanding details, seeing double humility, self is another adjective to explain a mouse, guidance and signing contracts, discovery, and the ability to see the unseen. A roadrunner. Uh, believe it or not, we see roadrunners. Um, the proper use of speed, understanding rapid change and agility, evading capture through quickness. All right. Um, the filthy pig. Um, that vibration deals with rooting out the truth, deep earth magic. Past life knowledge, intelligence, cunning, becoming invisible during times of danger, and the goddess in it. Now, the ant, the wisdom of the ant deals with patience, stamina, planning, energy, and patience needed to complete a work, communal living, and storing for the future. That's a powerful energy. Now, a wasp wisdom or a bee or yellow jacket or a hornet, um, that deals with the use of the female warrior energy, sisterhood, 
understanding female societies, and again, communal living. So if you get bit by a wasp or um, they've built a nest near your home, this is a vibration of the wisdom that these animals are bringing or that you have in your auric field. Um, the chicken, the, what they call it, the barnyard pimp, um, it the deals hand. with the power of the voice. Yep, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, the hand. <laughs> um, <laughs> power of voice, understanding language, peeking out the answers that escape others, awakening power at sunrise, which that's deep, because a lot of masculine um, brothers um, they awaken. The phallus rises during sunrise. Protection of. And it's called a cock. Yep, and it's called a cock. <laughs> wow. Protection of family and community and hearing your inner voice. A lot of people know the energy and the wisdom of a ladybug. But for those of us who don't, it deals with carrying the golden strand that leads to the center of the universe. The ladybug deals with past lives, spiritual enlightenment, and the rebirth after death. Go to the zoo and see a gorilla. Um, the wisdom of a gorilla is um, the wisdom of the gorilla is intelligence, it's gentleness, it's maternal instincts, the use of speech and benevolence. Now, the raven wisdom includes renewal, rebirth without fear, the ability to tear down what needs to be rebuilt, the ability to find light in darkness, the courage of self-reflection, introspection, comfort with self. The raven also means honoring your ancestors, Connecting to the the crown chakra, divination, change in consciousness to a higher consciousness. Raven also deals with eloquence and new occurrences. The powerful, powerful animal. Now, if you if you deal, if you see a donkey, um, that energy deals with stubbornness, the the ability to make decisions. Refusing to move when you know that it isn't right. Saying mm. the ability to say no. The ability to say no to others and ignoring others' opinions. Um, we have a lot of friends and this one brother shared that um this Native American was taking his Caucasian home and he saw these two deers down the street from the guy's home being intimate. And he was like he he didn't say anything, he just was like you know, just started, he started like mentally chanting. So the guy was like, you know, golly, you never see deers being intimate on the side of the road. What's going on? Well, the guy said he automatically knew, so he dropped the guy off and left. But what it meant was his wife was in the house cheating. And that's oh. exactly what she was doing. That's exactly what she was doing. Um, the next vibration is a cockroach. Have you ever been to someone's home and it's just like, Cockroaches everywhere. Well, the energy of a cockroach is the speed to avoid harm. Understanding the shadows, moving through fear, and understanding disgust in others. Let's see. Okay, okay, now to the deer. Um, the deer meant stamina, strength. It also means sensual passion, honoring those of your gender. And the ability to pace oneself in task. Right. And the deer is related to the elk. So, um, you know, for those who might be able to see the elk, that is one of North America's um, animals. Some people are drawn. They want a parrot. They're drawn to a parrot or they have one. Well, the parrot wisdom is the use of language, mockery. Um, being able to bond pairs together, bringing the rain or um, allowing emotions to flow, um, guidance and wisdom to think before speaking and expressing itself. So. 
The Bluebird's Wisdom deals with happiness, movement to new level of being, modesty, fulfillment, confidence, and the ability to return from the brink of extinction. Um, a lot of people say they want a monkey. <laughs> so um, the wisdom of the monkey is to be able to move through your ego, the ability to change environment, family protection, understanding excesses, good health, and understanding success. Now, now you know why um, Michael Jackson had bubbles. <laughs> 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 no right. Ever seen a grasshopper jump in the car or in your house? What well, the wisdom of a grasshopper or a lotus is jumping across space and time, leaps of faith, jumping without knowing where you will land. Also, the grasshopper deals with astro traveling, leaping over obstacles, new leaps forward, and the ability to change careers quickly. The eagle. The eagle deals with illumination, understanding the cycles of the sun. Um, the eagle also deals with the aspects of clear vision, the solar bird, spiritual power, seeing from the highest places like your higher self, and dealing with courage and dealing with strength. Right. And that's also the golden eagle. All right. Um, the robin, understanding the power of song, happiness guidance and the wisdom of change. Um, we also want to talk about the, sh the shark, too, because um, we was at the beach um, a couple of weeks ago. Now, I'm actually about, not about, probably about... It was almost, on Prince Bay birthday, right, um, June the 7th. Well, right. So, yeah, it was, uh, well, no, more than a month ago. And uh, while we was there, uh, no more than 20 miles down from where we were, there were several shark attacks. In particular, one took off an eight-year-old um, lady. Hey. Um, oh. Yeah, and so um, how we knew we wasn't too far out, we would look right. for the Europeans and make sure they was further. Exactly. Right, but the shark symbolizes the god of the sea, um, guardian of the family, ability to move constantly, um, protector, connection to past knowledge, shape shifter, um, never being caught off guard, ability to defend oneself. All right, so and remorselessness. Yeah. All right, down here we also got bears. We saw so, a bear a couple of weeks ago. Right, so um, oh. we have um, what is it, black bears and brown bears? Well, this is brown bear. Brown bear. It's a brown bear. Right, so it symbolizes um introspection, healing, so you to. Um, change, communication with spirits, birth and rebirth, transformation, um, astral travel, creatures of dreams, charmers and mystics, visionary, defense, revenge, and well as also wisdom. A jellyfish. Ever been bit by a jellyfish in the ocean? Well, it deals with sensitivity to water energy. It deals with emotions. Understanding of the value of floating rather than swimming. Um, trying emotional times. Um, the proper use of softness and not being rigid, the ability to become untangled from the webs of perils in life. All right, Sparrow. Um, desire, fertility, manifesting new love in one's life, understanding the aspect of race, um, the ability to use the power of song, all aspects of color. Wow. Okay. And we don't have too many more of these. Eyes on the snow. <laughs> we also have seen quails out here. Yeah. Living close to the earth, the ability to blend into the background, finding peaceful solutions to perils, and courage to face hardship. Also, too, we want to give an announcement. We have our up-and-coming Melanin Conference. It's going to be September the 18th, 19th, and 20th. Um, you can go to DrAlimElbay.com and look at the calendar of events where you can get the hotel reservations, you know, and all the details there. 
Also, too, if you're not on mooresbuild.com, please then come and show your presence. The more energy, the better. And that's mores with an S, build.com. Um, and we talked about the mouth, but we didn't talk to, about the wisdom of the rat. So the rat deals with abundance, reproduction, the ability to live unseen. It deals with self-energy, defense, intelligence, and the symbol of fertility and wealth. And the crane, we are constantly seeing cranes. For us, it means somebody's going to cross over. Um, which is astral travel. Yeah, which is astral travel. Um, it also means the symbol of spring and light, new knowledge, seeing all things associated with secrets, that which is dealing with the occult, and wisdom. Also, mm. the crane deals with seeking to help others on their path. Longevity, elegance, and using your voice uniquely. The toad. Um, it deals with the connection to altered states of consciousness, the symbol of earth and the ancestors, camouflaging, um, changing your luck and long life. Now, um, dogs, the wisdom of the dog deals with the healing emotional wounds in humans, the understanding of the duality of doubt and faith, companionship, unquestioned loyalty, love, knowledge of all things sensual. Um, the dog's wisdom is also protection and the ability to smell trouble from a distance. So you know if we've got the dog, we've got to do the cat. And the wisdom of the cat deals with independence. Seeing the unseen. The cat also deals with protection and love. It allows us to dream its dream. It assists in meditation and the ability to fight when concerned. If you have any comments or any questions, please press 1 so that um, we can get your animal story. Or oh, call into 626-414-3535. That's 616. Oh, excuse me, 626 four. One four thirty five thirty five. Give us a call, brother L. Do you have well, any what, animals? Sort of? uh, I sure don't. Well, I, well, I have. Uh, I, I was talking about the rabbits and dogs. Those are mostly. I see mostly rabbits. You know, every time I step outside, I see a rabbit scratching itself or a rabbit uh, running somewhere. No matter where I go, because I stay in the suburbs. And I see a lot, you know, I see mostly. Mostly, I see rabbits. Okay. I really run into, uh, but 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 not get out the subject. Uh, what do you think about uh, the, the people? You know, a, a certain person, a person of the opposite sex, and you keep on running to that same person when you go to the store. What do you got to say about that? I mean, until you turn a corner, there that person is. That's that's the exact same thing, brother. L. You should ask that person um, some questions concerning. Because I'm pretty sure that that person is wondering the same thing as why is they keep bumping into you also. So if y'all speak and talk, then y'all probably can come to some, some conclusion on the season on why y'all within each other's life um, or why that keep happening as far as y'all getting together. Because obviously they have something that you need right. or you have and or you have something they need. Exactly. But real quick, um, to add on to the rabbit. Um, it means paradox and contradiction, living by one's own wit, receiving hidden teachings and intuitive messages. You see that? Quick thinking, humility, moving through fear and strengthening your intuition. And that's another thing, too. I, um, I've been trying to, like, do it myself. Like, when we stop at the gas station to get fuel, um, like, I'll see, like, a young cat, you know what I mean? I want to speak to them. I want to encourage them. And I think that if we all do that, just communicate with each other instead of being separate. Like, if you have neighbors and stuff like that, try to communicate with your neighbors. You know what I mean? Exactly. I feel like yes. we, we, we have got to pull this together in any any little ways we can. And I'm just going to give my example. I found out the young guy with the Capricorn 
um, Aquarius. I asked him where he worked. He told me. And I was like, you know, is that your career? Is that going to be your life path to work for people who don't, you know, care about you? And he was like, no, I actually want to go to school for heating and cooling. And I was like, that's a great idea, you know? And then we talked about how he could be creative and get him a website. And I know even though we'll be using, you know, um, European web pages and stuff like that, but we would be using the internet, which is what our ancestors created. Um, Philip M. Uwali discovered the internet, you know? So we're on our ancestors' own you know, own great work. But the the thing is to take a step up. Punching somebody's clock and stuff like that, even though we do, are supported by people who do and we appreciate them. But the idea is to take those resources and start sewing them into self. Because we have got to get out of the mindset that it's all good. Are you ready for this? Or I'm going to get fucked up. What you going to do this weekend? I'm going to get fucked <laughs> up. Because yeah, then we wonder why people are fucking us up. It's because we that's the plan. They get fucked up. And I know it's a drab reality. And a lot of times, you know, you're just doing something so you can cope. You know? Um, but in, in but for real, for real, um, we can't expect nobody to change our situations but ourselves. So, um, but to stay back on focus, um, how about let's look at snails? Because sometimes people see snails. I remember people used to put salt on a snail. We have to honor and respect nature, you know, and hopefully this wisdom will will assist with that. Um, but a snail's wisdom is the importance of keeping yourself moving and mobile. You know, in this day and age, a lot of us are not getting enough um, mobility. You know, blood O type people, we need to be moving around and getting exercise. Pure, point blank. Make sure you're mobile. We need to be flexible and agile. If somebody's going to kill you, are you going to let them and forgive them after killing nine people in your family? Or are you going to, um, are you going to do something about it? And how can you do something about it? If you, if your back is breaking and and snapping and, and you can't move. So it's very important for us to be flexible. Um, the snail also means understanding the value of living a trail, leaving a trail. That's deep. That is deep. We have got to leave a trail for our children, not expecting them to have to do more work. To, you know what I mean? We want to do as much work that can be done before we leave the trail. So you want to blaze the trail. The ability to use slow movement to one's advantage. That's deep because the oldest animal on the planet is also another shell animal, which is the turtle. They are very, they move very, very slowly. Their average lifespan is 150 years and they have lived to be long. Um, a defense... Mm-hmm. Defend through retreat. Eileen taught me that. Understanding the value of humor and laughing. Everybody knows that laughter is the best medicine. Um, we want to make sure we work in and laughing. There's a lot of work to do. Um, let me see. You know what? Mosquitoes are pretty prevalent, too. Mosquitoes' wisdom is understanding water to transform, drawing energy into oneself, and controlling controlling energy flow in one direction. Now, that's deep because um, um, Tai Chi and Qigong is a wonderful way for how you can draw energy in. Um, I just want to take time out to answer some people who want to add on. We have area code 678. Your mic is on. Mm-hmm. Peace. 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 Hey, how you doing? I'm well, brother. I'm well, brother. Huh? Goddess, you had your hand up. Did you want to add on? Hey, that's all right. Um, <laughs> area code four six nine. Area code four six nine. You're on the line. Yes, peace, greetings, everyone. Um, this is peace. interesting. Um, I have had visions and dreams of my mm-hmm. totem animal 
and it is the sea turtle in the water and on land. And the ones that are on land, it always they always have babies on their back. Right. And I love my totem animal, yes. Exactly. So you heard us when we talked about the turtle? Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. I just wanted yeah, to make sure otherwise call. I would go back yeah, over. I- yeah, because I was gonna I was gonna call in and ask you about the turtle. What did y'all think about it, and the difference between the one that are in the water, the sea turtles, and the ones that are right. on the land? What are the difference between the two? Well, the one on the land symbolizes the earth, of course, in particular the land. However, the one um, in the waters also symbolizes stealth mode, and both of them actually can live um, over a hundred years old. So Mm -hmm. um, not only um, do they symbolize the power to heal, um, but feminine diseases also. So your totem, your your animal totem is very powerful because that symbolizes that you are a healer already by nature. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that you're able to help women to heal also. You know what I'm saying? Such as from fibroid tumors, from... Um, any other um, ailment, you know, that women might have with reproduction or whatever the case is. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that, that is what's going on with the, the oceans. That can be um, basically tap into the subconscious realm. You know, that's mm-hmm. what water symbolizes ways. It's is, is true for being able to go into. Is that my phone breaking up or yours? To this adapts um, turtle is back to um to transcend consciousness to subconsciousness as that t- as okay. the total. Right, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, my wife also um, add on to some more information here. Oh yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yep. All right. Um. Well, yeah. and also, um, also too, a turtle deals with um, a powerful shelter that you build around yourself um, that helps mm-hmm. with the reality of your life. So, depending on the, sh- um, the, the, I guess the condition of the shell, that will also help to break down the vibe. Like, like in your dream of the sea turtle, could you explain it a little more? Because I know it deals yes. with the symbolism of wisdom and really- faithfulness. Yeah, I remember um, dreaming about them. They were in water, and I remember the bottom because it was really clear. And I remember standing at the edge of the bank, and they all, it was about, it was about 15 of them, and they all came to shore while I was because I was standing in the water. All right, so, of course, 16 comes to the number 7, which symbolizes completion as far as um, transcending spirituality. spirituality. Um, in particular, the seven chakras or the seven African powers of the Orishas, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. loyalty, mm-hmm. right? It goes back to the same thing once again. So um, that's that's very interesting that you was able to remember the count of the um, turtles. And then also oh, the yeah. water was clear. Right, clear. So that means, mm-hmm. of course, there's no confusion. Yeah. You know you what I'm saying? Clear mind. Right, a clear mind, mm-hmm. their attitude. Mm-hmm. 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 Right. There's no um there's no um distortion of emotion. Right. There's no entities attached to your auric fill. You know what I'm saying? It's oh. claims. You know, um that's also what this um turtle symbolizes. This. That was a oh, great okay. dream, honey. Oh yeah, and the other one is so funny because like I said, I didn't realize the turtles were my totem. And um this was right. about I, I won't, I really don't know how many it was, but the turtles they were so huge you could actually um, right. So those are tortoises, an echo. right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you could actually ride on these turtles. That's how huge they were. Right. And I remember they were on mm-hmm. some green grass, and they were mm-hmm. um, looking in the in a fence. It wasn't a gate. It was a fence. But you could see through the fix and they were looking at them. Because I remember all of the deep colors that were in the dream, like purple and green and like satin colors. Yeah, this was about last, this was last month, about a month ago when I had that dream. 
Well, the tortoises also symbolize the cycle of protecting yourself. Self-reliance. So, um, you know, also it's a defense, but it's a nonviolent defense in which that um, your dream was also showing you, you know, that you're able to transcend all um, boundaries and barriers, you know, but yet at the same time, um, you know, protect yourself. You know, that's what defense was symbolic to. Mm Mm-hmm. So what was it the baby? Because they had some of them had babies on the top of the back. Right, that symbolized the new ideas or developing new ideas. Ah, okay, interesting. Mm-hmm. Love it. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Did that make me want to go out and get a turtle as a pet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna sit back and listen some more. Thank you so much for that. All right, peace to you, goddess. Peace. 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 All right, we get area code two four eight. Area code two four eight. You're on the line. Peace, peace, peace. 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 All right, hey, doing uh, good. Good, glad to hear it. It's an interesting topic. I just wanted to drop uh, the two funny, funny animals I had seen. Not funny, funny occurrences. Um, I'm a Scorpio, you know, so my birthday is around uh, November 18th, and uh, mm-hmm. this happened twice in the last six months. I uh, I came outside one time, and it was uh, I was getting in the car or whatever to leave, and it was a big hawk I had seen flying by. Mm-hmm. It could have been a right. it could have been something like that. I wasn't sure, but anyway, I uh, so I got in the car and left and forgot my wallet. So I swung back around, came back to the house, and <laughs> the hawk was right up on the house, and he flew away up into right. the tree. But, you know, so I looked, and uh, he had tore a, a rabbit's head off <laughs> right in front of the house. I said, wow, so he was just eating. It was, like, right there, you know? So but he didn't leave from where he was at. It was kind of funny. So anyway, I uh, went in, got my stuff, and took off. And I came back, and, you know, he was over there eating or whatever. This is right by the door. So then, like I said, I, I almost forgot about it. And then it was over the winter this time. And I don't know if it was the same hawk, but I assume maybe it was. But uh, now he was over here with a black squirrel. <laughs> and uh, that reminded me, this is weird too, but, you know, since we're talking about animal spirits. Um, when I first moved up here to Michigan years ago, I had told my uncle, I was like, man, I've seen a black squirrel. Cause I'd never seen none over in Chicago where I came from, and he was like, "That's a nigga squirrel." <laughs> <laughs> so the point, the point I'm getting at is you know, later when I seen this squirrel, I started to, you know, kind of think about it, and I was, I was like, "Man, that that hawk kind of represented my higher self, maybe killing off the older self by seeing them attacking this old squirrel, which was kind of like um." Not old squirrel, I'm saying black squirrel, which is kind of like a, a symbolic version of, you know, yourself and your lower self maybe, or like what you used to be while you're trying to you know, uh, ascend to new places. So I don't know, I just thought that was kind of interesting. I wanted to just drop that real quick. Well, yeah, definitely. Glad because you did that. Yeah, because, um, well, the first one, the rabbit definitely symbolized, could be, you know, symbolic to the lower nature, being that rabbits are so fertile. Um, symbolize, you know, the power of the lower nature itself. And then, of course, the hawk symbolizes overcoming mess- problems. Right. And also message from That's the spirit, you know, from spirit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And being able to see a larger picture. So, you know, rabbit, you know, um, you know, you ever see rabbits, you know, they go at it and it's, it's over within a matter of seconds. You know what I'm saying? And, and But they have, right. you know, babies like crazy. So, it symbolizes mastering, yeah. The hawk symbolizes mas- you know, mastering of that of that um, lower self, which was symbolic to the rabbit. And more than likely, it was symbolic to the squirrel also. Um, you know, we're going to get into the squirrel. We're going to definitely break that down in a, in a matter of seconds here. Um, as but a matter of fact. With wisdom and courage, mm-hmm. you know, right. as well as overcoming right. problems. So, you know. Right, that's what's up. All right, well, yeah, I just have to drop that. Appreciate y'all in fight and uh, sit back and listen. I right, appreciate you guys. All right, 
Well, you know, that's deep, though. Everybody don't see no um, Hawk tearing up a square, and then he's going to do it again. So you can... he, right, With exactly. a nigga square. So, so you make sure you get it right this time. <laughs> right. But uh, <laughs> a business to solve problems, um, storing up for the future, quick change of directions, resourcefulness, balance and giving and receiving. Um, it's a warning. Um Discovery, power of restoring times of non-movement, change, avoiding danger by climbing to higher places. Right. So, of course, we know the hawk can climb to higher places. So, um, you know, symbolic to the fact of the lower self not taking over, you know, um, the higher place. In other words, ex- exhibiting the, the ego, you know, that's what that would be symbolic to so the hawk was actually symbolically killing off the ego so that it can't travel into a higher place. Because if you take with you the Kundalini energy as it being negative, um, because there's two aspects, positive and negative of the Kundalini in terms of what we refer to it as, you can draw up the ego into the higher place in which that would do damage to your psyche make a person um, have ilu- um, delusions of grandeur. It would give the um, individual the uh, um, believing that they are the Christ and they are the only Christ there is, you know, and um, all that type of nonsense because they took their ego up instead of, um, you know, realize realization of their hawk, what would be the awakening of the soul, which is already there within the pineal gland. Um, and the Kundalini is just supposed to, to awaken the soul that's out of there. You know what I'm saying? So that the higher self can shine, not the lower self as it sits on the throne. That was the whole story of um, of what was you know taking place with saying that um, Iblis or Satan or Lucifer got cast down from out of heaven, you know, into the earth. And when we talk about into the earth, we're talking about into the physical body. Because that is the Kundalini, you know what I'm saying, which is symbolic to the serpentine on fire as it rests um, at the base chakra. But if you raise it with those illusions or the illusions of grandeur, you know what I'm saying, and, um, you know, believing that you are the one and only and that it's all there is, you know, and you trying to take that nonsense up into the higher realm, then there's there's something in which that uh, individual can suffer from. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that was symbolic to, was the destruction of um, that lower self or those tendencies to be symbolic to the ego. You know, so i um, glad that, you know, you paid attention to nature in order to see what was really going on, you know, because, you know, nature always reveals itself to us. Like we said, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the animals that you see, you know, and, um, you know, and pay and most and most of all pay attention to your own thoughts. You know, if there's a negative thought, make sure that you replace it with two positive thoughts. You know, so that the positive the last positive thought can resonate on within the subconscious. You know. So we appreciate you. Thank you, um, um brother Jason, for um tapping in and uh right. appreciate it. Okay, um, please. <laughs> Somebody in the chat room wanted to know about a bat. Mm. So, oh, they must not hurt it. I broke it down. Oh, okay. Right, but we get it on up in there again. Um, shamanistic death and rebirth. Um, pollination of new ideas, transition, intuition, or in particular, um, initiation, um, viewing past lives, understanding grief, the use of vibratorial sound, camouflage, invisibility, and ability to observe the unseen um, is um, the science of the bat or the wisdom in which that it exhibits. All right. Right. This is the confirmation from the ancestors. Um, this is the way in which that they see as far as being the indigenous people, they was able to have that around, 
you know what I'm saying, you know, from so many times of it happening over and over again, they've been able to observe nature and apply it to themselves. That's the whole thing about nature. You want to be able to apply it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you are in the environment, but how do you see the environment? How does it, uh, how does it play upon you? All right? That's, 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 the, that's the key. All right? And, um, and you're welcome, you know, for, um, um, you know, I thank you all for listening in um, to the show tonight, you know, as we um, get, you know, into the animal spirits and the guys and, and how to actually learn how to be a shaman because these are just some of the keys along with learning herb, um, herbalism or herbology um, as long, you know, understand, like understanding astrology, numerology, um, or what is called cosmology, right, understanding meditations, understanding, uh, um, you know, the various movements of yoga or yoga or what is it referred to also, qigong or tai chi, reiki, what is all energy modalities, um, you know, understanding these particular things puts you in the uh, way of being a shaman. And it helps you become more one with the universe. Right. It it attunes you, you know what I'm saying, to your higher self, which that puts you in connection or um, with the universe, because you are the universe in miniature form. There's no doubt about it. All right? It helps to bring peace. Indeed. You know, and the alleviation of karma. Indeed. So, um, any closing (laughs) remarks? Any closing remarks, Brother L, before we go? Yeah, brother, I enjoyed the show tonight, as always. All right, appreciate that. Out. I'm glad you was able to come on. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that newsletter. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, then. Okay. I'm, I'm still working I'm still working on it. Dragon, I admit. I must okay. confess. Okay. So, right. But I'm, I will send it. By my fact, I might send two. All right, appreciate okay, that. Okay, because we industrious more, Scott. Yeah. Also, exactly. too, we have a sale, <laughs> we have a sale on... The laundry detergent, more studs. Um, we have the powder laundry detergent as well as the liquid, and they are two for ten dollars. So, laundry detergent, buy some industrial more it's while we're partying the cosmos. Mm-hmm. The clothes are washing. And of course, um, you can go to the website www.drlimelbay.com. That's D-R-A-L-I-M-L-B-E-Y.com. We got plenty of information on there. Go to our blogs of enlightenment. Uh, read our past newsletters there for the last three years, as well as also um, check out any past radio shows that you might not get a chance to listen to, but you know damn well we drop the information. So um, go over there and um, help yourself out on the um, listening effects there, as well as also go and check out um, plenty of information to read. We got the Metaphysical and the Religious um, Confusion, which is an excellent um, excerpt from my coming up book, my up-and-coming book, as well as also the more Holy Temple of Science of the World, um, where we try to end the confusion behind Prophet Nobudra Ali, and um, it showed the connection points between all the other individuals who played um, in the establishment of the more Science Temple of America slash more Holy Temple of Science slash the more Divine National Movement of North America, of the world, um, as well as also go to um, Shindao, and check out um, Grandmaster Sun Yada Seer Swati, um, his lineage, as well as also the knowledge on which that he dropped on us concerning the jewel and the lotus, um, the cobra breath technique, as well as also um, the Tantra Kriya Yoga methods and techniques. Um, you can also go to um, my wife, um, jewelry, as well as also her um, organ energies, um, how the organs are able to remove negativity. Um, you need that in your car, you need that in your house, you need that on your property, all right? Um, so check that out, and man, you know, we just got it all. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Ooh, we be working up there. We are still growing, growing, we are growing, growing, and that's... Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Brother Al. Yeah, do, do y'all sell any uh, cloth, some kind of cloth or material as um, how to make uh, a turban? Or do you sell yeah, turbans? We yes, we we do, brother. We do, brother. As well as also we um, have fezes or tarbush, um for those who want them. Also, that's for men and women. 
So give us a call, 910-364-9099. That's 910-364-9099. Um, okay. Check us out. You know, need, we can do it. Um, anything and everything from nationality, from the UCC, from trust, from the state, from helping with mortgage. And matter of fact, we just recently got two more brothers out of prison. All right. Um, they was in state prison and then we was able to get them out utilizing um, our methods um, of the UCC and various other, um, you know, affidavits in which that we utilize. And, um, you know, brothers are out. One brother got out last March, was able to come to our first conference for the year, um, which is our spring equinox. And then mm-hmm. another brother recently got out within the last um, two months, and he's out, and he, we talked to him today. So uh, we're doing our job as far as getting people out of this, um, as they say, the dismal crypt, all right? Um, we're not letting them linger up in there, especially if it's a nine uh, or what's called victimless crime, all right? So um, we're doing our part. Um, we have our Hillary retreat here in North Carolina, as my wife says, September the 18th, 19th, and 20th. We will be having the Melanin Conference, Holistic Health, and Wellness Expo right here on our own land. That's 2188 White Oak, White Oak Road, um, Kelly, North Carolina, 28448. Give us a call if you want to know more information about the arrangements for the three days. You can have hotel or motel stay uh, within 10 minutes away from us. Um, or you can stay on the land, 910-364-9099. That's 910-364-9099, all right? We're trying to do the damn thing, so help us um, do the damn thing. All right, it's just that simple. We love y'all, and we out, y'all. Peace. All around the production. This the gift and the message My music is a weapon when I use it on the reckless Spaceship hovering throughout the whole region Open up the sky and take the shortcut to Venus Getting on my lever, it's a hard pill to swallow Like comparing your religion to it if the earth is hollow No need to cry there and let it soak in your tomorrows Let my music soak up all your bittersweet and sorrows See the sun shining, I lay back and kick it Staying sucker free is my new way of living One day we get together, then we all start building But the ball that I dribble got me pulsing like like flipping champagne glasses around my organite pyramid glazing at the stars show the kids where we really live these solar flares got my dna 12 stranded collect the kill trends and feed it to the man spring and wash the tall moors some of us we've been here to reunite the others and cool the world with wind chills i put rap to the back for a good reason 2012 21 was a good season fake people get exposed just for who they are keep playing traffic in a highway with moving cars my flow bring the fear of god to the modern rappers they crawling back with kicking men and chest and hard attack them. Ever since the kid went galactic, my center bracket reached the top and interacted with my solar status. The microphone will grab it, I guess it's just a habit. I live a legend in your presence, order like the Mavericks. It ain't about me, nah, but it's about the future. I go to races on and dealing with the cockadoodles. I sock it to you like your grandma and your mama used to. The final stage, I ride away just like it's on a Lulu. I prove my old school, but since I stayed there, galactic conscious awareness, I got my grace there. See with the eye of Hey, room, no longer been in knees. My inner chiefs are in me when it's time to leave. This modern day crap, I don't we been follow it. I'd rather symbolize my neighbor in the hieroglyphs. Declare peace without Battlestar Galactica. Foot stepping back with some way back to Africa. The Washington Moors, some of us we've been here to reunite the others to cool the world with wind chills. I put rap to the back for a good reason. 2012 21 was a good season. Fake people get exposed just for who they are. Keep playing traffic in a highway. We're moving cars My flow bring the fear of God To the modern rappers They crawling back with kicking men in chest My heart attack And wash the tall moors Some of us we've been here To reunite the others To cool the world with wind chills I put rap to the back For a good reason 2012, 21 Was a good season Fake people get exposed Just for who they are Keep playing traffic In a highway We're moving cars My flow bring the fear of God To the modern rappers They crawling back with kicking men in chest My heart attack them.